What's up, guys? Brown Chica Babe here. Hope all is well. Bria Anderson, Bria Anderson, come to the front. Because based on the social media shenanigans of this weekend, it is clear that your husband's side chick, Deja, is competing with you, and she's never going to stop. Now, I'm not here to tell you what to do regarding your marriage, but to perhaps suggest that you choose you. Okay, but before I get into my quick commentary, y'all, please don't forget to like the video. As soon as you get in here, just like the video, um, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, thank you so much for your support. Now, for those of you who don't know who this young lady is, her name is Bria Anderson. Bria is married to Major League Baseball player Tim Anderson, okay? And she is publicly going through marital issues, very, very similar to what Miss Melody Sheree Holt went through. So just this weekend, Tim's side chick Deja put hearts and laughing emojis under Tim's old pictures. In response, Bria posted a picture of her family and what appears to be some sort of a screenshot of a text message probably between her and Tim that says, that's that infinity love. The side chick then posted pictures of her and Tim. Um, a blog then reached out to Bria and Bria responded and said something to the effect like, you know, this girl is a liar. I'm not going back and forth with no side chick. The side chick then posts more pictures trying to somehow convince us that she is not a side chick and insinuating that Tim is mostly with her and was mostly with her prior to the start of the baseball season and was with her recently. Tim appears to have responded to the back and forth, not on his official IG page, but what appears to be another personal page. He appears to be upset at the ch side chick's actions, stating this sneaky link became a responsibility. And a sneaky link is basically, you know, someone on the side, someone that you are sneaking around with. OK, now, Bria, meet Miss Ariane Curry, who is also known in these YouTube streets as Coleslaw. She was the side chick to Mr. Martel Holt. Melody and Martel were married for over a decade. The couple is now divorced, but Martel carried on an affair with this woman for about seven consecutive years during his marriage. And just like your husband's side chick, Ariane also conceived a baby boy with a married man. And just like your husband's side chick, Ariane is also a Virgo. Just like your husband's side chick continues to do to you, like she did this past weekend, Ariane has also publicly humiliated and taunted Melody, and I will give you an example of that at the end of this video if you stick around, okay? Um, in addition, just like your husband's side chick believes Tim owes her some sort of protection from public scrutiny, when she posted this, he swear he loved me, but a never defended me or spoke the truth. Weird. I'm tired of... And that last word I can't make out. Similarly, look at what Ariane posted about Martel, okay? He never protects me. He never respects me in public. Same script, different cast. And that's why I'm making a comparison because in my opinion, Deja acts a lot like Ariane. And Bria, I'm here to tell you how this is going to end if you don't choose you. Because if you think this is the end of Deja publicly humiliating you and trying to break apart your marriage, it's not. If you somehow think Tim's birthday message to you today will shut the side chick up, it's not. Okay, happy birthday, by the way. Unfortunately for you, Deja, just like Ariane, is probably one of the most dangerous and toxic side chicks your husband could have ever messed with, much less have a baby by, okay? Like Ariane, Deja gives that she wants your spot, she has no respect for you, your children, or your marriage, and she will not stop until she's able to break up your union. And if that means giving you two additional bonus babies, she will, okay? And I use the term bonus babies because Bria made a post. Um, if you see it on the, you can see it on the screen. And she made a post letting the world know that she has accepted her husband's outside child. Okay. So she referred to the child as bonus love. And of course, the side chick got pissed about this. Okay. Um, so yes, Bria, because getting pregnant the first time didn't work to break up your marriage, Deja is a type of chick to drop another baby in an effort to get you to, to divorce him. Okay. Remember when she put on Twitter, if my husband ever cheats on me, I will divorce him. Yes, the irony and the audacity. But what does that tell you? She had that baby on purpose to get you out of the picture. But the sad part is that Tim does not strike me as a type of guy that will stop messing with her because not only is she never going anywhere, the side chick, but, and this may be a hard pill to swallow, but you and him appear to be unequally yoked. You know, 
you appear to exemplify dignity, grace, class, kindness, intelligence, beauty, family first mentality. Okay, I'll give you that. Your husband gives me the opposite of you. He doesn't give me gentlemen, family first, confidence, self-control. He appears to be a lot more in line with his side chick who gives ratchet, classless, hood, no morals, no values, and weak. But being with you, he's able to hide from the public who he really is, you know. But you know who he is and you decided to settle. You settled, Bria. And I know at this point, keep it real, hun, but you don't want the side chick to quote-unquote win. But the truth is, and history shows, she'll never win. She believes if you are taken out of the equation, he will be with her. Sadly, it appears you believe this as well. But I bet if you handed Tim to her on a silver platter right now and say, have all of him, he will never elevate her status. He probably wouldn't even want her. In fact, he will start <laughs> looking for the next Bria, which is what Martel did. Okay, because Deja does not fit the image of a major league baseball wife. But unfortunately for him, even if he finds someone equivalent to the next Bria, just like Ariane, Deja is going to continue to stick around for his next relationship. She will remain his sneaky link. She will remain the side chick. She will try to break up any new relationship he has. And when he goes public with his new woman, if that were to happen, she going to drop some more pictures and receipts. Okay, y'all remember when the Shade Room posted Martel with his new woman, Sheree. What did Ariane do? She literally went into the Shade Room comments to let Sheree and everyone know that Martel was eating her ass. Literally. Look back at my past videos. It's in there. But the truth is, Bria, whether or not you stay with him, Deja is going to be the bane of Tim's existence, at least for the next 18 plus years. Do you want to be a part of that? Is this how you see your future? Okay, let him deal with that misery. And I know you and Tim built a life together and you have two beautiful daughters and you may feel like, you know, leaving Tim would rob them of growing up in a two parent household. Number one, don't ever carry that burden because you had nothing to do with that. And number two, you have to rationalize and say, you know, yes, a two parent household is best. But is this how it's supposed to look? Is daddy supposed to be bringing home multiple side babies? You know, because that's what's going to happen right? Mommy con is mommy supposed to be in a constant state of, de of depression? You know, you have to ask yourself that. So at the end of the day, you know, wouldn't it be best for your daughters to have a healthy and happy mommy over the title of Tim's wife? You know, but in order for them to get that, you got to pick yourself up and choose you. And let's keep it real. Just like Major League Baseball, Tim likes the image of having you as his wife because of all that you exemplify. You like the image he gives you too and all that comes with it. I do believe you like the perks, the notoriety, and the VIP treatment of being Tim Anderson's wife, you know? But girl, you gotta let that all that stuff go because not even all these perks outweigh the constant humiliation embarrassment and disrespect but listen guys there's so much to unpack in this situation but that that's all i have for now um bria i would strongly encourage you to reach out to miss melody sheree okay i see that you're an aka she's also an aka have a chat with her okay because what you're going through she went through this exact same thing but she was able to find the courage to choose herself and i actually think you can too okay guys let me know whether or not you see any similarities um for those who know of melody sheree's you know her story do you see any similarities between arian and deja um you know in the way they behave as side chicks and what advice would you give to bria whether it's you know to stay and fight the side chick you know defend her home or let it go or if you have anything else to add that will be helpful for this discussion go ahead and do so thanks so much for stopping by and don't forget to like the video i will meet you in the comments and as promised bria here's a snippet of the disrespect that melody went through okay thanks guys y'all oh, let me tell you i literally sent her a message and Sir? told her your husband eats my pussy like a champ